arrived from Phoenix together, together we're filled to Phoenix two countries one heart welcome, welcome to, to our Chica Chica, Chica, Chica update <laughs> I've got update <laughs> come join us that road back there is actually the national highway that we're staying that close to where the main road for Cebu is but we're gonna go inside and continue our Chica Chica and show you where we've been staying and of course it's an Asian house gotta I'll remove the first. shoes Papa doing his morning devotionals and this is our bedroom yeah. and we've got a really big walk-in closet DIY, Papa made them. Right? Yeah. Papa made the closet bar for us. Everything just that before has we got here. Iron steel or steel, Papa made them. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> this is our Chica Chica update from our room. Yes. I'm hoping the AC and fan doesn't do too bad. We're going to check it out afterwards and have absolutely necessary, we'll redo this portion yeah so to give you an update we have finished our 14 day home quarantine last october 27th yes we did finally uh it was a interesting slash good great experiences good whatever but for me overall was it's, it's really good for me. yeah How she got you? to spend she got to spend 14 days with her family yeah. and hanging out with family and a couple of friends stopped by but they were respectful and yeah you know kind of left us alone during the quarantine time since then there's been a bunch stopped by yeah <laughs> uh I, I was a little at wits in by the end of the 14 days uh fortunately the day of the ending of quarantine <laughs> we made a run into car car yeah. and it was jj's birthday yeah, and uh, Mama and Papa delayed the 37th wedding anniversary. And Papa 68? 67th. 67th birthday. Yeah. A little bit late. Yeah. That his birthday was actually the 26th? 29th of September. 29th of September. Their anniversary was the 10th of, 10th of September. 10th of, I mean, 10th, of, 10th, of 10th of October. And then our freedom for the 40th. And our freedom party. <laughs> The party was actually the day of our, our, our release date. Yeah. Uh, that was cool. That was neat. Like we ate, we were able to experience back the house, just wandering and showing around the um, the trees, the mountains. So we have a video of that. And, and we, uh, we've actually got a video of that. We had a chance to, to do a lot of walking during the quarantine period. So what are your takeaways during the home? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't terribly happy with the quarantine at first. Yeah. Uh, Sabunga, because they had a little bit of an outbreak, Yeah. Uh, they they chose to lock down pretty hard. And there was one poor OFW. This, they took a test upon arrival in the Philippines and got a, a negative PCR test on there. Uh, we're allowed to come to Sabunga, but put in their community center, basically an outdoor basketball court. Yeah. Uh, it, it's got a room that you can sleep in out of the weather. Uh, we're made to take yet another test, had a second PCR test <laughs> that was yet again negative, and still made to go through the 14-day quarantine. Yeah. So, uh, so I, I, after finding that out, I didn't feel quite so bad. Yeah, we get so blessed because we are staying here in Mama's place. As you can see, it's a small bedroom, but we have everything we need. We have our walk-in closet. We have our electric fan, our AC. Yeah, we have AC. We have um, cab. We call it. We call it Dura Bats. It's a cabinet, plastic cabinet that we put our stuff, our table. So basically, all we need is here, and we don't actually need a big room. <laughs> No, it, it's basically, you know, it's basically a decent sized hotel room. Yeah. And, and that's, 
really all we need because all we do is sleep and you know just kind of chill out in here a little bit yeah uh when the noise and karaoke gets a little too loud i come in here and hide <laughs> for a lot of visitors <laughs> uh, Friday, Thursday, Friday, Thursday. Thursday we went to Cebu City. Cebu City. Yeah, because we have dental appointment for Friday. The mama, papa, you and me, you and I all had dentist appointments. Yeah. The I got fitted for uh, a new partial dental. partial upper. That I had a tooth in the that was loose in the front. It was due to come out on that day. But during quarantine, it actually got loose enough that it fell out finally. <laughs> yeah. uh, the dentist took a look at it and said, yeah, it's healing over fine. No worries about it. Uh, there's a little bit of root left in the jawline, but it's in place and still attached so that they're not going to worry about it at this point. And if it does start getting looser, yeah. they can just schedule some oral surgery and go in and take it out if need be yeah. in 10, 15 years. Uh, Cindy got her. Cindy got another good cleaning. Yeah. And a checkup. Yeah. Mama got a tooth. One tooth pulled. Two. Two teeth. Pulled. Yeah. Two teeth pulled. Why don't you get one? One and getting one. Actually, two. The one just got free to get them so small. Okay. That's right. That's right. That's what you said. That uh, yeah. she got two teeth pulled. Yeah. And it's scheduled to go back. That there's another tooth that's attached a little bit better, deeper, something yeah. wrong with a root. That they're going to take some time and fall. Yeah. Papa went in and, and had a cleaning and checkup, and yes. it was literally his first time to the dentist. I don't believe he's even had teeth pulled from the dentist. No. So, he, and yeah. so it was kind of kind of nerving for him. Yeah. And chose not to have any work done at that point. Afterwards, the dentist came out and with Cindy and I there with him. You finally to, to give him the encouragement and to, you know, she explained that it, it's pretty serious that he does need some work. Uh, he's got four or five teeth left. Six. Six. Yeah. Six left. Actually seven right now and the one that needs to be pulled to only six. <laughs> yeah, he's got a partial tooth that, that needs to come out. The tooth next to it should come out. Yeah. That it's going to come out soon. And uh, he, he's got pretty pretty bad period on us from, from the years. Yeah. But he's led a hard life, you know, all of his life. And he worked so hard too. Yeah. For the yeah, he, he worked hard all of his life. Let me let me phrase it that way. He worked so hard, yeah. So you know, is, that was to be you know wasn't to be any surprise. But he didn't agree afterwards that okay, yeah, we'll 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 do this. He didn't want to see us spend the money. He didn't want us you know, didn't want to have to yeah. deal with the the pain. He does not want one. He does not want to spend money. He does not want to deal with the pain. And yeah. And then what else? We just wander in, um, in Ayala and look some stuff. And right? Yeah, that day we just kind of wandered Ayala. And then we meet up with the YouTube, another YouTuber, uh, Amazing Philippines. So right. thank you so much, Ron, from Amazing Philippines. And he actually did an interview with, uh, with Cindy and I on his channel. Uh, I'll see if I can link that interview to him. I'm not sure I can link a uh, video to another, to another, another you channel. You can. I'll have to see if I can do that, how to do that. But uh, we didn't really get any great video of wandering around or, wandering around or we definitely didn't get any, any video of uh, Green Apple, the dentist that we're going to. Because all four of us are doing. Yeah, all four of us were doing something. The first visit, they asked us not to. Yeah. And so I'm hoping to get a little bit more this Friday. Yeah. At least some B-roll type footage. And we'll do, absolute worst case, we'll do a voiceover. And just kind of give an explanation of what's going on. Yeah. And then what, yeah, Saturday, Saturday it was nearly uh, shopping to in, um SMC side. We took a cab over to SMC side. Yeah. yeah. We, we took Sunshine all the way into Cebu. Yeah. And traffic is still hard enough to get through in Cebu. It, it's getting, it's not back to normal, but it's getting there real quick. Relax. And I do, well, there are one checkpoints there that ask for Q quarantine pass near in Ayala, but the rest, I didn't see any checkpoint 
checkpoint no. that was working. <laughs> so, and then to think of going to Ayala, well, there are entrances that need quarantine pass, but if you go to the back door, you don't really need quarantine, quarantine pass. And even in Seaside SM, they don't need quarantine pass. Yeah, they don't. Yeah. They, they, they do a modified entrance that, it, that it's one person sure. at a time at this point. They do a temperature check. Yeah, we make sure we have our quarantine. You got to step into. Yeah, we make sure we have our quarantine patch just in case, but they yeah. don't even ask them. Yeah, every time we've went, we've had the letter of invite from the dentist uh, to Ayala. We've had our quarantine passes. We finally got our quarantine pass. Yeah, that's good. So Mama and Papa have their pass, and we have our we we, have our we each have a pass. Yeah. So that will work out a little bit better for us. What's coming up? Um, um, yeah, Papa's visit to the doctor. So I'm still confirming Papa's visit because he has like um a wound on his foot. It's I I guess it's a kind of like a diabetic foot ulcer or something from the picture. It, but it I cannot could tell. be, but we're not sure. Yeah, we're not doctors. We're not doctors, and I told Papa I, I kind of knew it and. I just don't want to tell them because I'm not the doctor. I will let the doctor tell us. And but then we finally convinced them. It, it it may be nothing, but it's serious enough to at least have a doctor say it's nothing. It's, not, it's not on us. the foot too, so I'm putting. I'm actually putting a bandage on it just to press it because he does not feel any pain. And when I start pressing his feet and massaging last night, he feels pain last night when I. You saw me massaging his feet. That's actually kind of a good sign. Yeah, because he said he hasn't had feeling in his feet since June. Yeah, so like I just let the blood circulate on his foot. So yeah, and then we have another dental appointment to this Friday with you. Yeah, I'm going back and getting um, final like, fitting for my my partial. Mom, I have uh, one teeth pulled, and Papa have one teeth pulled in. Yeah, she's the only one that doesn't want to revisit. So taking care of them <laughs> but that's actually it we'll keep uh, you updated right this week we're going to try and get uh postal, uh, postal id for you yeah we'll see about that uh <laughs> and then we're going to see about trying to get uh our driver's license switched over so we'll we'll try, try to get to video of that some of the places that would normally be a little bit more open because of all of the new procedures are a little bit less welcoming about the video so yeah. We'll just take what video we can and, and try to, we'll do voiceovers if nothing else with, yeah. with some B-roll footage, you know, yeah. to try and give our experience of what's going on with uh, DMV or LTO. Yeah, yeah I'm land still American transportation. <laughs> yeah, land transportation office, oh. not Department of Motor Vehicles. Yep. Uh, and the uh, postal ID, we'll see about that one because we're not even positive she, she's pretty you're pretty positive that we can get the paperwork and everything done here but not a hundred percent so i don't know it's so we may have time. yet something else to do friday when we go into Cebu city yeah because the other thing is i could uh grab uh field help id quick just submit the um paperwork or marriage certificate and they will give you the id and i'll just put my picture and that's it that's another id okay so yeah but in the Philippines, you need uh, government ID. Yeah. And because she doesn't have any Philippines government ID with her yeah. married name, it's causing a little bit of issue here and there. Uh, we tried to open a bank account and that one kind of failed. Yeah. So we need to get those before we can really start doing some of the other stuff we need to get done. Yeah. So, but we'll keep that's you about it for, it. and it's about updates. Uh, that's about it for the updates. So, Enjoy and Mabuhai! Mabuhai.